Hey everyone, we are back in the organic cornfield this evening and today is August 26th and just doing a quick kind of late summer recap. Um, we've had pretty decent growing conditions overall. Plenty of moisture, not enough heat, but things are coming along I guess. Um, just kind of wanted to show you what we're doing this evening. Um, we're going around the edges of the field and as you can see kind of here where we come into the edge of the field this is a waterway um, that we're in right at the moment but along the edges of the field we get lots of weeds that come up where uh, the guy doesn't quite get the cultivator set down right away or where you don't have the dirt flowing at full speed and the edges of the field kind of grow up in weeds and what we're doing this evening is coming along just with a nine foot disc mower and we're mowing the outside of three to anywhere from well zero to probably five feet of the edge of the cornfield off and trying to get the majority of these weeds that are in the right along the edge cut off uh, before they go to seed and I'm kind of kicking myself right now because I'm a little bit late and I hope that these water hemp seeds aren't viable yet but um, it's very important to get to clean up these edges so that when you pull into the corn you're pulling into a clean nice field and not pulling in through all these weeds and if a guy did not trim along these edges when you pull in with the combine the combine's going to suck in these weeds and what you're going to end up doing is spreading these weeds out into the first oh 100 foot of the field and then next year that first hundred feet is going to have a million weed seeds in it where if a guy can mow off those weeds and pull into the straight field um, even if a few of these weeds are viable at this point um, at least they will be laying on the ground and not get pulled into the combine and these weed seeds hopefully will stay in this outer edge and not get spread clear into the field um, yes we are sacrificing a little bit of corn um, it's kind of sickening in a way to mow off some of these nice big ears that yes we are losing a little bit of grain but I, I again long-term weed control is important in my um, my book I guess so trying to trimming up things trying to keep these edges looking nice um, scran over the other side there I've mowed along that side already this is a CRP waterway um, otherwise you know a lot of guys will come through and mow and hay these waterways if you can and have done this earlier but um, with this being CRP we, we can't leave we can't mow it or hay it so uh, but just still just coming along the edge and trimming it off. Um, if you look into the rows here, um, you can see this this hybrid is a Prairie Hybrids 5879. It's a 107 day hybrid and you can see plant health looks really really good yet. Um, virtually no leaf disease showing up at this point. Um, we, we've got a long ways to go though. Um, we, we really need some heat. Um, walking in here you can see this hybrid has a super thick canopy and nice wide leaves. Um, our weed control overall isn't too bad. Um, we've got a few weeds that came up later on in the season that we didn't get and primarily um, some water hemp and a, just a little bit of foxtail but um, overall the field has stayed for the most part pretty clean overall looking down through the canopy here um, 
yield potential, I really don't know what to say. Um, there's potential here. This field, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, this field wasn't planted until June 2nd. And this late planting is obviously going to hurt uh, somewhat. But um, as I'm pulling the husk back on an ear here, we do have... I mean, there is some potential here. I, I I just randomly grabbed this ear, and I, probably people can laugh and say I grabbed the biggest one I could find. But um, there there is some potential here. But we've got a long ways to go on August 26th yet. Um, really, I guess that's pretty pretty not i can't complain one bit about that ear corn i guess um you know the the thing you will notice with organics is you you probably do have a little bit more variation in ear size and guys you know it, it's every ear is definitely not like that one um we can grab oh let's grab this guy right here that you know we kind of mowed him off You know, I, I I really don't know what to expect yield-wise, other than I think it'll be decent if we get the heat to finish. Um, this ear does have a little bit of tip back, as you can see, but still overall a pretty nice ear. We did have a little bit. I think what one of the agronomists I was talking with said that we had some bean leaf beetles that ate some of the silks off in this late planted corn and that was part of the pollination issue i think what we've got like on this year right here um, i have noticed that it is worse along the edges of the field and along the grass strips that once you get in past the first you know four or five feet um, that those pollination issues aren't quite as evident but there was some insects chewing on the silks kind of right along the edges but as we get in farther doesn't really seem to be a problem so but the main thing from tonight's video is i just wanted to emphasize the trimming around the edges and anything you can do to keep the edges of the field clean and not have the combine go through a big weed patch and scatter them throughout the field will maybe not pay you this year because we are knocking some places more than others losing some knocking some corn plants down and losing some grain but um, in the future years keeping that weed seed bank down and anything you can do to prevent spreading these weed seeds will pay in the long term more than the short term few bushels that we're losing here so um, overall really happy with how this looks need a late frost a late freeze for sure and some more heat units but um, the potential's here yet i guess so we will check in later thanks